all right what's going on guys uh in this video i'm going to be making a simple uh spectator camera or like free camera looking thing where you like fly around it'll be kind of like the unity camera a little bit so yeah i just have a simple scene here with some you know trees whatever some scenery all right so let's get into it so first thing i'm gonna do is create a c-sharp trip call it camera i'm gonna call it camera movement you can call it whatever you want though so let's go ahead and get this and put it onto the main camera and uh, open it up. All right, so first thing is we don't need this, so we don't need start. And then we'll get some, some variables going. So first we need the sensitivity and then we need the slow speed, the normal speed and sprint speed. It isn't really a sprint, but like, whatever. Okay, hold on. And then we will also need a current speed variable. And then I think that's it for the variables. Let's go ahead and go in here. And if we're going to do if input, get mouse button one. So whenever we're holding right click, we want to have the character move and stuff. So, we'll set the visibility of the cursor to be false. We're also we're also gonna lock the cursor. Okay, and then we'll make some functions that we will finish here in a second. And then we'll just do else. If we aren't holding right click, then we just want to do. We want to make sure that the cursor is visible and you can also move the cursor. All right, now let's make these other functions. So our first function will be the rotation function. We are going to get the mouse input first. Make sure this is a vector three on the path. Uh, so we go a new vector three. Will be the negative input dot get access. Plus y. And the input dot get access mouse x. And zero. And then we are going to rotate our camera whenever we the mouse or by the mouse input. So we'll times this by sensitivity and then times time dot double time times 50. I mean, you don't really need to multiply times delta time since it's rotation, but you could just get rid of that time dot delta time if you want to and then we're going to make a Euler rotation variable here okay that's not right do the angles that's have a tough time here go ahead and get that and then the reason we get these Euler angles is so that we can clamp the rotation so our character cannot spin around weirdly and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, now we are going to create the movement function, which is pretty simple. So we're gonna have three different speeds for our camera. So first thing we're gonna do is get the input, which is gonna be WASD basically. So input not get access. Horizontal, this is gonna be like the A and D keys of our keyboard and left and right arrows and stuff. 
We are not going to get a Y variable. And then we will get to the, the which will be vertical. So, maybe an S. Okay, and then we're going to check if we get the shift key. So, key code. Go dot left shift. And if we do get it, then we want to set the current speed to our sprint speed. And then we want to check also. In another statement, we want to check if we are pressing the alt key, which is going to be our slow walk kind of thing. So if we are pressing alt, then we want to set the current speed to the slow speed. And then else... If we are not pressing any of those keys, then we just want to set our speed to the normal speed. And then at the end of this function, we want to go ahead and move the camera in that direction. Now in this one, you do need to multiply by time plus delta time. So that the FPS does not affect player speed, and that should be it for the script. Let's see if I mess anything up, but it looks good. And then in here, you just want to set your variables. I'm just going to set five sensitivity. You could set these to whatever you want. I'll just do three, five, and ten, just so I can see it. Save and and into play mode. So right now, if we click, if we use WASD, we can't move. But once we hold right click, we can. Look around, move, use shift to go faster, alt to go slower, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.